The uh, EMS Citizen Award for 2011 goes to David D.J. Harburg, Jr. <laughs> Allow me to, uh, to read this short story, if you don't mind. Let's just take a moment. As medics, we are taught to deal with other people's emergencies. And for those of you who have ever had to provide life-saving care for your own family members, Know how hard that is for, as an adult. To say our son has been around EMS and, fire, and the fire department would be an understatement. DJ has been raised around ambulances and fire trucks all his life. If asked what he wants to be when he grows up, a firefighter is always on that list. You see, I'm a paramedic and his stepdad, Stacy, is a full-time firefighter. One day while working my shift, returning from an out-of-town transport, I received a phone call from our son that would forever change our lives. I answered my phone to hear DJ in, a cra in his cracked little voice say, Mommy, there's been an accident. I'm not sure what kicked in first, mommy mode or responder mode. DJ went on to say that his daddy had fallen out of his deer blind and hurt his leg. I thought about it for a moment and said, how bad can a broken leg be? He then said, Mom, it's bad. It's really, really bad. As I sat helplessly, sat helplessly in my ambulance some 40 miles away, I asked him, who all's there? His response was, just me and Paige, a 10-year-old boy and his five-year-old little sister. Miles from home, or miles from town, and his father that is critically injured. I asked if an ambulance or the fire department had been contacted. DJ said, yeah, Mom. Dad even asked for a helicopter. That evening, Stacy had decided to go bow hunting on our back property. He left our two youngest children in the house and asked GJ to take care of his little sister. He'd be out back and he'd be back in a little while. Stacy walked, walked over to the, to the deer blind and while climbing the tripod, lost his balance, falling backwards approximately 15 feet, head first, his right leg caught the step peg halfway down and a metal, a metal peg caused a severe trauma right below the knee all the way down to his ankle. The fall made him unconscious. We'll never know how long he laid on the ground, but when he regained consciousness, he realized his leg was bleeding. He realized it was a serious injury and somehow he made it back to the uh, house. He got as far as the garage made it to the back door and called for DJ. I can't imagine what, what thoughts my son might have been having seeing his six foot three dad critically injured and bloodied. DJ remained calm. He took one look at his father and told him, Daddy, we need to call 911. Stacy then limped to his truck in our driveway, got his fire truck radio, fire department radio, and before collapsing, managed to call dispatch and describe the, his injuries and requested evacu air evacuation, advising them he would need a level one trauma center and someone to come take care of our children. Meanwhile, not realizing, DJ ran and got some towels, came back, wrapped his father's leg, applied pressure, trying to stop the bleeding. Stacy's mental status at this point was deteriorating and was becoming confused and losing consciousness. DJ was the little man on a mission. He sized, up the, he sized up the situation, went into action, and did what had to be done. He realized that his, fa that his baby sister, if she saw her, their father, would be scared. He also remembered the last thing his father told him before going outside, take care of your little sister. DJ went back into home, put on a DVD, and told Paige, watch the movie, I'll be right back. He then went into the bedroom, grabbed some pillows, grabbed the house phone, and ran back outside by his father. He tried to make him comfortable, continued applying pressure. DJ then realized, Mom might be a good person to call. While I was on the phone with my son, and he was explaining the situation, first responders arrived, and I, I could hear that patient care was taken, taken over by the responders. I then told my son I was going to let him go back inside to take care of Paige, and I'd call him right back. 
I was later told that DJ never broke down until after his father was loaded on the ambulance and transported to the landing zone. Earlier I said I thought I needed somehow to gain control of the situation. Apparently, it was already being done by a 10-year-old young man. That day, showed, that day he showed remarkable bravery beyond his years. Stacy was flown to University Hospital in San Antonio. He was hospitalized for more than three weeks, underwent five surgeries, and was dispatched or was released on a, uh, in a wheelchair. However, today, he's back at work. He's made a full recovery. Ladies and gentlemen, DJ. for this award. I want to thank the EMSers, the firefighters, and the Air Evac FB Fredericksburg and Kerrville. But who I really want to thank is my family for being there for me and my little sister. This award means the best to me, and I never thought, I never even knew about this award <laughs> until my mom got a call from a nice lady telling her that I had won this award. Now, I know what I'm getting my dad for his for Christmas. I'm gonna get him a harness. <laughs> I expect to pass him a certification one day in the future. Good job, young man. <laughs> <laughs> 